Today, we're talking about the universe and if there is an edge somewhere, if you go far enough, there's maybe something at the end. There's a lot of different theories about what could be at the edge. There are a couple things we do know, however. We do know that the universe has not existed for an infinite amount of time because if the universe has existed for an infinite amount of time and there is an infinite amount of matter, every single night when we looked up at the sky, it would be completely white because if there's infinite amount of time for the light to get to us, every single point in the sky would be filled with light. So we do know there was a beginning and most scientists agree that the Big Bang is probably what happened. So there's a giant explosion that set off everything in the universe and all the matter that came out is what created stars and planets. No one really knows what is at the edge or if there's an edge. So here are some of my favorite theories about what lies beyond our universe or at the edge of our universe. So the multiverse theory is very popular in pop culture and movies and all that stuff, but it could be real, probably not in the way that like Marvel shows it, but there are some aspects of a multiverse that could exist. There definitely could be other universes that exist outside of ours, other big bangs happening. And even those universes could have different laws of physics, which if they did, there could be some universes where planets and stars couldn't form at all just because of the way the atoms interact, they don't interact the same way that ours do. Or there could be universes that are much more forgiving than even our own universe where life could be prevalent on every single planet just because of the way the laws of physics work there. Or there could just be other universes that have the same laws of physics just outside of our own. If you imagine ours like a sphere and there's other spheres around with other big bangs happening. But the other idea is parallel universes, like our universe has copies of itself. And the way you could create a copy is to make a decision and it creates a branch in the timeline. So anytime you do something and in another universe you do something else, it breaks the universe in half. There's a great game that can show this in really a, like a, a visual way. And that game is 5D chess with multiverse time travel. So this game is just like normal chess when you start, you know, you can do your moves, white goes first, black goes second. But what's very interesting is you can move your pieces on the board and you can also move it through time and through multiverse different branches. So here's our knight. We can move it up to and over one, just like normal chess, but we can also move it up to and back in time one board. So it'll go back in time to when it was white's turn to our first board. So this is showing if something happens that's not supposed to in a timeline or something, it'll split the universe. And now we have two universes technically of chess, where this is our first one. And then we created a second one by bringing a piece back. So now what happens is you can play as black on both of these boards at the same time. So you could do that and that would be one universe. And then the second universe you can play again, and then it'll switch to white. You can also move between universes. So here's my queen and I can move my queen through the timeline into this one, which will also create a, another universe and this can keep going you can get tons and tons of universes but this is basically showing how a multiverse could work with parallel universes where anytime something changes the universe splits like this and then they're next to each other and if that is true then maybe one day there's a way we could interact with the other parallel universes a lot of people think that they have encountered parallel universes you know on reddit r slash glitch in the matrix is an entire community dedicated to basically breaks in the simulation of life or encountering parallel universes. So if there is a multiverse, I think one day we could find it. But the problem is it's very hard to disprove the fact that there's a multiverse. So it really is just like a wild theory at this point. But who knows, sometime, maybe in the next few years, maybe like in, I don't know, a couple thousand years, we could discover it or we could prove that it's not existent. The simulation hypothesis is a theory that everything we know and our entire universe is just a simulation. And if you think about it, our beginning of our simulation is still the Big Bang. So it's almost like they flipped on a switch and that set off the universe. With the simulation hypothesis, there's a few things to think about. Do the simulation creators even know we exist? Was it created for us? Maybe we are the center of the simulation and that is why we cannot find any life anywhere because we were created to be the only ones that have life. 
Some scientists say that the chance that we are in a simulation is way greater than we are not. If we ever create a simulation where the inhabitants of the simulation are truly alive and they do not know they're in a simulation, some scientists say that almost proves we are in a simulation because if we're able to do it, other alien species would be able to also and that we are probably in their simulation. Or it could not even be like a computer type simulation, more like a physical test of some sort if there were super super advanced beings that you know can create universes at their will and just like created our universe to see what would happen and that brings back to the multiverse maybe there's beings creating all these multiverses but all this is just highly highly speculation because there's no proof at all of any of this some people say that the universe is so big and basically we can't see to the end of it on purpose because the simulation creators don't want us to leave Earth or maybe at the very most explore our solar system and never leave because as of right now, it seems nearly impossible that humans will leave our solar system and, you know, colonize another planet. So do I think we are really like Sims being played by giant mythical creatures controlling our lives? No, I don't think so. I think if we are in a simulation, it is a near perfect simulation, if not a perfect simulation. So a lot of these things that people say are, you know, glitches in the matrix and other things breaking the simulation. I don't I don't think any of that is real because if we've gone this long without any fluke, because any minor thing like that, if it was a simulation, could break the whole thing because there's no there's no reset button on our universe without, you know, destroying the whole thing. So if we were in a simulation, I think it would be a perfect simulation and we would never know. So perhaps the universe does not actually have an edge. You could imagine it almost like the halo from Halo, the giant, like a giant ring almost, where as soon as you reach the edge, you kind of teleport back to the other side, but it's not really teleporting, it's just all connected. Kind of like, almost like a wormhole, like space time's bent in four dimensions so that as soon as you reach the edge, you'd just be at the beginning. What makes this all really hard though, is there is an edge to the observable universe. There is a point where no matter what, we will never see past because the galaxies at the edge are moving away from us faster than light and their light will not reach us. And you may be wondering, how do things move faster than light? I thought light was the speed limit. Yes, nothing can move through space faster than light, but space itself can move faster than light. It's kind of difficult to comprehend. The rule of the speed limit of the universe, speed of light, does not apply to the universe. The universe itself can move however it wants and there's no rules that we know of. So if the universe is expanding constantly, who knows, maybe there really is just an edge to what, like there's an explosion and it just keeps going and it keeps going out. It's hard to imagine the universe as basically a, a sphere and there's stuff outside of it because there could just be nothing outside of it and it's hard to think like that but maybe there really is nothing outside the universe and all that there is is the universe and we can talk about the edge of the universe and everything which i guess kind of there's an edge because there's just nothing i don't know it's it's hard to think about all i know is that nobody knows what's at the edge of the universe people can claim to know things and whatever but no one there's never been anything proven about it will that change ever it could, but for the foreseeable future, I don't think we'll ever know. Something else to think about. If the universe is infinite and we just can't see that far, that basically proves the multiverse theory. Because if you have infinite space and infinite time, if time keeps going, anything that has a probability of greater than zero will happen in an infinite amount of time in infinite space. What that means is anything you do has happened at least once which means the probability is not zero. So if an infinite amount of time happens, there's an exact copy of you somewhere else in the universe doing everything you're doing. And maybe you do one separate decision, changes everything. So it is really cool to think about. So I don't think we'll ever know what is at the edge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and let me know if there's anything else abstract and weird about the universe you want me to talk about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.